All right, guys, we are back on the ESR. Now, I wanted to take a minute and introduce you to the new squad. We have Vex and Erupt, both advancing into our Season 2 for the MLG COD League. I want you to get to know both of these squads as there's very talented players on each team, not necessarily as well known as the Optics and Envies of the group, but just like Strictly Business did in COD League 1, I think these two teams could pull off some major upsets and see themselves advancing to Anaheim. Let's take a look at game number two. This one went all the way down to the wire, and look out for a huddle at the very end which means they're going to be down by five overall. So it's still anyone's game at this point. Mud Dog, though, up top, Ness, he's going to get taken out. And they do lose control of B. Grosser, he's going to get dropped. Sin on your screen, he gets knifed back over to Rise. Let's go ahead and see what's up with them, as they're going to be up by six points here. Seven, if you count that one from the first half. Pac-Man putting in the shots there, getting the kills by Research. All right, I have no idea what is happening with this video's audio, but hey, how about a off-the-fly commentary here of the game? You can see it is Vex going up against Erupt now. Erupt in a, a three-on-three, three, just dropped perplexed on your screen is Slack. Now, I love this guy back in the Black Ops two days. Great to see him trying to find a new squad here in Call of Duty Ghost. Slacked one or two on two with Saints. Zuma and Vexed alive on the other side. Bomb is going down. You can see the rotation here as it's going to be slacked all on his own. And the one on two, the challenge in the middle. And I love the teamwork here. Zuma and Vexed push it in. Going to get the easy defuse. And look at Zuma off the start. I think this is the team's star player. On this map, he can snipe. He can use the Remington. Of course, you see the MTAR here. Already with the bomb defuse, he's going to open it up with four points. Legal getting the only other kill. We're going to switch sides and see what Erupt is up to off the break. So taking a look at the scoreboard on the other side, you're going to see Pluto, Saint, the only two dropping kills. And here we go. Zuma off the break is going to be leading the charge. Everyone else making their way to America. And the defense is going to split 2-2. Zuma going for that initial pick. Not going to find anything, but you can see the defense. They do have a player pushed up on American with a little bit of cover from the Remington at distance, but no kills going down. Here's the Oracle mode. Zuma trying to line up a shot. Bomb was just dropped inside of American. Two players going down, legal and perplexed. So here Zuma knows that there's going to be pressure. Vex trying to watch the mid gate as well. And it looks like these two now have to figure out how do we push American? Where can we get a pick from? I love Zuma's decision to go up top. Meanwhile, the patience you see on the other side as Vex just going to lock down B, the slow rotation. Meanwhile, Vex getting into the action here. This is Erupt's Vex. Gets a little confusing. Vex and Vex picks up the bomb. Does he go for the plant? No support. Not the best decision. Running out of time. He's dead. Zuma in a one-on-three. And here we go. Let's see how Zuma plays this. So far, he is perfect. Three and O oh, opens up. Four and O. Oh. Five-point streak. Pulls out the sniper for the challenge here. And this is where it gets dirty. Not going to work. Peaked and spotted. That is it for the round 1-1. One, one. Both defenses going to win their side. Slacked in your kill cam. I like the decision here. Nade the bomb site. Force him out the other side. Finish it off. Solid round from Slacked as he starts to heat things up. At the top, Pluto also with the most kills on this squad. 3-2. and two. Let's see how they open it up here on the attack. And uh, Golden Boys watching the defense. Here we go. Now switching over. We got the hybrid scope here for Slack. We'll see how many smokes go out. Three-man push. The fourth, just like Zuma last time, going to be trying to snipe in the middle. Looks like nothing happening quite yet. And there you see the first pick by Saint. Saint gets that pick in the middle. Now the four-man push to the side to go down inside the bomb. As it looks like Huddle is able to pick up that second one. A Player on the flank, though. This could be some big action opportunities, but Saint calls it out. He knows the positioning, picks up the third, all up to Vexed here as this defense is getting shut down. Vex does pick up one, but he still has three more players. Bomb going down. Can he handle it? It looks like he's going to find two more players inside American. Will he get the first pick? Did he see that guy to his right, or is he on the other side of the wall? He is. Peekaboo. First kill, Vex making it happen, one on four, now a one on two, and couldn't get the third kill as he is shut down by Slack. Saint Sniper making the difference here in this round. 
Nice work there in the final kill cam. Slack just showing off his patience as it was just a solid setup here from the Vex squad. And we go into round number four. Vex up 2-1. Erupt needs to win their attack now. And out comes the Emtar. They're going to want to get aggressive here. As you see, Vex going to lead the charge over to the A-bomb site for the first time. B-bomb site, excuse me. First time they went A. Didn't work out so well. Vex immediately behind the truck. Picked by Saint Sniper. Saint so far with at least three snipes here. And it looks like Golden Boy's finding the bomb carry. Zuma checks the flank. Legal trying to push up with this bomb. It's going to be up to Perplex to clear the way from that white truck. Will Perplex be able to get a shot? Nope. Grenade comes in from Pluto. Hello, Semtex. Smokes are down. Down goes Legal. And Zuma, as good as you are, you are not going to win this one on four. Gets up top in the window. Going to patiently find someone. It's Saint. And he actually, that was slacked up there in the window. Takes down Slack. So one on three after he gets pick one. Backing up, feeling like pressure is going to be coming. Very smart player. You can see that he has a lot of S&D experience. Running out of time, though. 30 seconds left on the clock. Knows he needs to get in there, grab the bomb, or somehow pick up three kills. Averaging one every 10 seconds. He's going to make the push around back. Looks like the challenge from the truck. And what a shot there. Huddle got first bullets down. But he answers back. Now the snipe looking for the peak. Short range scoping. Will he find this player poking from behind the barrel? Now you got to think, a lot of pressure on me. They're going to be pushing in any moment. And look at the very top. You can see the rotation from Saint as he goes to mid-street. That leaves Pluto all alone, but Saint wisely knows that he won't be able to pick up both of them if they spread out a 3-1 start here for Vex. Erupt needs to turn it on. Zuma, 7-2 and two in this point in the game. Saint on the other side, 5-2. and two. And it sounds like the audio is back. Let's bring in Golden Boy. 10 kills, and that is a very good outing there for the Vex right now. Zuma trying to pick up some kills with that sniper rifle on defense, but let's go on board with the boys from Vex here on offense. Well, I'm looking look at, at Saint right now, and he actually ended up losing two players. Yeah, That's already. That's not good. It's not good at all, but uh, they can get it done. They do have a disadvantage as far as the man count here, but they just got to make sure to pick up this bomb and make it work for them. And they end up actually, Huddle ends up getting hit markers there. Is that uh, that blast shield that was going to be there for that protection for Huddle? And now, let's see if Huddle, or actually the protection for that one play, I was actually going to be Zuma. It's such a heads up play out of that man. And he oh. manages to pick up two. Can someone stop him? That sniper is so deadly. Let's actually take a look at the final kill cam here. Or at least, you know, yes, there we go. So Zuma finding one and then wow. right around the corner. Easy. Easy. Easy kills right there. It's like he's playing for clips for YouTube, it seems like. Very good picks there by Zuma. Nine and two for his team. And if it wasn't for Zuma, this would not be a close game at not all. At all. Three, not two at all. right now. They're down by one round. They're back on offense. And right now, it's a very aggressive push to mid-map from Zuma. An aggressive alpha bomb push for the entire team of Erupt. Yeah, that's right. And this is uh, what we've seen before. We actually saw Erupt do this and I believe it worked out for them last time. So actually, no, it didn't because Pluto ended up getting a dirty double kill there, thus not allowing them to be able to make anything happen. Zuma's going to be watching that mid street. He finds one. That's going to be a kill there on Pluto. Now they know do not walk on the mid street. Two players get taken out there for Vexes. It will be up to Slack and Saint to have to deal with the four members of Erupt here and Zuma. Just continuing to show why he is so great at search. But Saint able to find one. Nade flying in. That's going to actually prompt that player to back up. Getting hit markers. Knowing he's going to be right around the corner. And he's able to take oh. him out. Now he has a teammate pushing up. He's going to go for that defuse. Slack, though, on the other hand. Oh, he's going to look for some help. But he's not going to get it from Saint, who was caught defusing the bomb. And erupt tie this one up 3-3. Three to three. That wow. is what you want to see right now. Erupt playing from behind and gets really clicking on all cylinders, as I like to say, in 3-3 three, three, tie going into the seventh round right here. And remember, Vex has a 1-0 lead in this series, so Erupt 
wanting to get on the board and tie this series up. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they can play some effective defense here. Automatically send two to Alpha, two to Bravo, and that's exactly what you want to see from defense. Yeah, you just you just got to play it safe. You got to play it safe and anticipate that A push because they've been going for it a lot. And you mentioned quite a few times the cerebral play of Vex, and, you know, they've been pushing A quite a bit. Um, and now they they have them scared. They have they have a erupt a, a little worried. Are they going to push A? Are they going to flank around? What's the deal here? As soon as that a smoke goes down on B, well, shots are exchanged. So that's going to prompt at least one member to push up from the mid street there. And you're actually seeing that on the mini map. So uh, they're they're playing around the area, and it's just very uh, you know preemptive play. You know, just trying yeah. to get that early read there and get that early pick. It's a bluff. It's what it is. They've pushed the same bomb site over and over again, then switch it up when you least expect it. And that's why it was an effective Ooh. bomb push. Three down for Team Erupt, and Vex has three up, leaving Perplexed all by himself to try to clean this one up. Yeah, well, he does manage to find one. That was going to be Saint as he, you know, was poking out just a little bit there. One player actually right behind Perplexed didn't see him. Of course, he wouldn't because his back's going to be against the wall, and that back door of that uh, trailer will be closed. Gate's going to be uh, uh, closed as well, so if he does decide to go and cut the gate and hit it open, it really won't help him because they know that where he's going to be positioned on the map, Perplex, so on the other hand, he's going to find one. Now with seven seconds left on the clock, all it is is a matter of playing time, and it won't matter because Slack gets to stop, and that is going to make it four to three. Vex finally answer back after losing two rounds straight. That's exactly right. And like I said, it's cerebral SND. They're playing chess and they're literally just showing what they think that they should do. And then bam, they move in and they take the lead right at the end. And that's effective search and destroy there by yeah. Vex. Now, if you're erupt, you can answer back here and, and stop that momentum because Vex is wanting to run away with it. Well, this. you would think Erupt's been doing a similar thing as well. They've been pushing A yeah. nonstop, May. So that means that, you know, it's going to... And look, the same push, 2-2. Two, two. Same push. 2-2. Two, two. Same push. But, but if you notice, though, you got a guy watching the mid-street. You have one pushed up inside of that alley there by the gate alley. So this could end up being a pick there. That one player is going to get that kill. And that was actually going to be Vex there with the stop. So that's going to give them uh, actually a man down dealing with a 3v2. And uh, two members of Vex are going to have to push up and make something happen. Slack is going to take out Vex, though. And it will be up to a 2v2 now. Zuma and Perplex going up against Slack and Pluto. And yeah. you, if you're, I mean, if you're a betting man, I would go with Erupt on this one. I would just have because to. of this man, Zuma, right here. I mean, he's just been on fire. And the clock is on their side, and you have to remember that. The clock plays such a huge factor. Wow. And then, of course, the L115 does as well, as he will clean up, and then Perplex will take out Pluto. 4-4 four, four tie right now, going into the ninth round. And Golden Boy, I'm excited. Well, you know, what's crazy about this, too, is that confidence out of Erupt as well, yep. Maze, because they, they, they knew. They were just like, there's no way in hell that they're going to be flanking around this. There's not enough time for them to do this. So that gives Zuma some comfort to say, all right, I'm gonna get ready for this shot there. One player has to be pushing up on Water Tower. You see it happen all the time. So it was just an amazing read there out of Erupt. And now let's see what's gonna happen here. Let's actually jump over to Vex on the attack because they are gonna be pushing B. And last time they did this, it turned out to be successful for them. But, uh, and, and look at the way that they're playing too. Look at the way Erupt's playing. They're aggressive on them, but not gonna matter. Slack is gonna punish him right away. Yeah, and, and Vex actually got a little bit too antsy rushing in there when they knew it was a Bravo bomb push. And right now it's a 4v3 situation. Slack still has the bomb and is waiting for callouts to get that bomb down. And right now, what I really like is that that aggressive push by Vex is going to really pay off. Because look at the positioning on that mini map there, Golden Boy. Perfect places to be able to play for picks. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Slack, though, on the other hand, I mean, when you think about Vex, they... They're angled... The flanks covered, they have that post alley covered, and they have the upper part of the bomb covered as well, but legal is going to be there for the pick, and there goes the coverage again. Huddle is going to be there for the stop. Jumping over now to Huddle, he's going to find one. That's going to be a clean kill for him. And now you got Slack. He gets taken out. It will be all up to Perplex here. As he looks, and I think he may have found a player move. Oh, no, he didn't see him move. He has about 11 seconds to work with here. Ends up seeing him at the corner of his eye, and that won't matter, as it will be 5-4. to four. Vex looking very, very good here. Poised for victory, if you will. 
Yeah, and I really do agree with that statement completely as, I mean, one more round here by Team Vex guarantees them that win, obviously. Erupt, though. They can stop the bleeding with another tie, but the question is, <laughs> round 11 is going to definitely go in favor of erupt if they do allow that because they have more kills on yeah the field, and, and, so. and you know what i just want to point this out real fast you know at the start of this game we said like zuma can't do it on his own and a huge credit to vexed to step up in the slang yeah. category but also to legal and perplex as well they've been managing it's 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 a you know besides zuma going into the double digit it's been a fairly equal game here between these yeah. two teams and the score reflects it as well five to four so i'm looking forward to seeing what erupt's going to do as they continue to get aggressive and they try and get angles right through that truck there right to the bottom of the trailer not going to get any hit markers but they do know that they are going to have their hearts set on b the question is how does vex stop this do they try and rush out into the docks there oh no he gets hit markers perplex and man just what a game this has been so far but perplex is able to get that kill now tying it up 33. yeah a phenomenal play and i know this sounds like a reckless thing to do but if you just overextend after another pick and go to alpha it will throw everything off but they're really committed to this bravo bomb and that's exactly why well, they, they have positioning on it they have yeah. two bodies on it it's a 1v3 why not go for the beat bomb plant? I mean, why it's not? there. It's in front of you. Now, Slack has, uh, you know, his work cut out for him here. There is going to be players spread out equally here, and Slack Ooh. won't be able to do it. We're going to go to an overtime tied 5-5. And it seems like who has the most kills here will certainly be Vex. Yeah, I believe, uh, what is it, Vex? Yes, I believe you're right. I believe it is Vex that has a little bit of an edge there as far as the kill. So it looks like they're going to be on that defensive side there as actually no. No, I apologize. On offense. Yeah, we, we both apologize because we were here doing bad math. We apologize. Bad but math. Oh, way, yeah, actually, you know? I should have known. I should have known. If you look at <laughs> <laughs> my math, guys, as Benson says, my uh, Alex's math's. He, he, of course, is plural for some reason. is terrible. So um, <laughs> I've been trying to improve it, though. But in any case, though, Slack, though, finding one player, that's going to be Zuma. Huge loss there for Erupt because Zuma, I mean, 12 and 5. You just can't argue with that. Now that, it seems like they're poison plant by B. That is a huge loss. That's disheartening. But Vex and Perplex can get things going. They just got to get a few more picks here to even out the man count. Everybody is just chilling over here by Ooh. post. And look at these... A kills. Look at Bex being able to pick up one there. And uh, this is looking a little bit better here for Rupp. This is a 2v1 situation. And they're on defense. Very Bottle good. Bottle having to deal with a 1v2. One player by Water Tower, another one over by Gate Alley. And if Huddle looks right now, that COD timing comes into play. But you know what? They think that he's going to go and plant it over by A. And I think that they are going to be able to get this one unless he turn. No, he doesn't turn into 10. So this could be that, that opportunity that Huddle needed to be able to make this one happen as he gets back by the barn and he's just going to hold this one down. One player pushing up, though. He should be able to take him out if he creeps around the side. Finds him. Shots exchanged. That's going to be a big window. Now 1v1, Vex versus Huddle. The pressure is on with 25 seconds left on the clock. Huddle needs to play this one slow. Vex is going to be directly behind him. I'll keep Vex highlighted here. It's going to be a little game of ring around the rosy and Huddle's oh. going to come up big with the stop. And that is going to give Vex that lead in this matchup. Two to zero in this best of five. What a round there for Huddle. And there you see the final kill cam from Huddle clutching it in the 1v1. Great positioning there underneath the trailer. That was a look at Vex. They took out Erupt in that one. Went on to win a very close blitz and secure their spot in the MLG COD League Season 2. Now the other team was Erupt. And they actually went through the loser's bracket to secure their spot. Tomorrow, I'm going to try and get perplexed on to talk about their one. But first, let's bring on Saint one more time from this Vex squad. Saint, you were going off with the sniper in that game. Talk to me a little bit about that battle on Warhawk. Um, pretty much every time on Warhawk, mainly mainly so on offense, I run a sniper. Uh, I'll go for a pick right off the start, and then if I don't see anything or if I miss my shot, then I'll switch to an AR. And yeah, that's basically it. So when you're playing with Slack Huddle and Pluto, what's kind of the, um, what are the roles for each player on this squad? Um, I believe Pluto goes for the bomb. I know all three of them, like they'll choose whether they want to go A site or B site. When they go B, all three of them work around the bomb. They'll throw a couple smokes, put down a trophy, and then eventually go for the plant once they bait the other team out of their nades. And I'll 
go for a snipe off the star and then I just sit back and watch the flank. Yeah, I saw you kind of, it looked like you guys had incredible communication because I was watching that one A push. You got the snipe on mid earlier on and then you finished out the round by watching the team's back. Is this kind of a natural chemistry for this squad? Is it something that you guys need to work on? Where do you think your team is right now and how do you think you'll stack up against the other squads in the MLG COD League? Our S&D game has been pretty good. Me and Pluto had a lot of solid strats back when we were on Vexed at Regionals. Um, we basically just transitioned all those strats over and just adjusted the things that didn't work and kept the things that did work. Star player on this squad? Um, other than myself, I'd have to go with Sla the, the Slack and Huddle duo. They've been going off lately. The whole team, though, as a whole, literally during the whole play-in, every single player had their games. Awesome. Well, today we have to end the show a, a little bit early, actually over a half hour late, but I wanted to give you a final opportunity to give yourself a shout out. Where can people find you? Where can people watch you play? Uh, at Vex underscore Saint with two T's. Um, I will be streaming soon. My Twitch will be Brian Saint with two T's. And you can fo uh, subscribe to me on YouTube at Saint the Great. Saint the Great? Two T's in that or one? Um... It's one, one T and then another T for the, and then great with an eight. That makes sense. All right. Well, Saint, thank you for coming on. Um, of course, we'll also get you an MLG channel now that you are part of the MLG COD League. Best of luck. Looking forward to your roster announcement on April 15th. Hopefully nothing changes there for you Hopefully guys because I think this squad can go pretty far. Saint, thank you for joining the show, and I want to thank all the viewers for tuning in today. It's been a phenomenal day of catching you guys up on what you've been missing in the MLG COD League. If you missed earlier, don't worry. We'll have the rebroadcast coming up after this show. I did an interview with Theory on his move to the new squad, Phase Red. We also talked about TK's run through Call of Duty Championships and what went wrong there. Then I had Sensor on to talk about the new squad, Phase Black. If you haven't heard... Proofy is moving off of phase. He's going to be starting the second phase lineup. So far, he has picked up Sensor and Saints as uh, kind of the objective. And Slayers, formerly of Strictly Business. And their fourth is Formal, the lead Slayer from Team Caliber. Tomorrow, I'll be talking with Erupt about their run through the play-in tournament. We also have some more team changes to announce, or so I'm told. We'll be back tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern, right here on MLG.tv slash ESR.